is the day some thought they'd never see the legalization of Sunday alcohol sales. Governor Holcomb's going to sign that into law less than two hours from now. Now that means you can finally buy liquor, beer, wine, whatever your heart's desire at a grocery store or liquor store seven days a week. I'll probably be out there this Sunday, give me a beer around 12 o'clock and then enjoying it and uh, celebrating. Originally from Chicago, it took me forever to get used to like Sunday, but uh, I'm, I'm excited. All right, well, once this law takes effect, you'll be able to buy alcohol on Sundays from noon until 8 o'clock. Now, why was this year the Sunday sales the year that it finally happened? This idea has been overwhelmingly popular with the public for years now. RTV6 political insider Abdul Hakim Shabazz joining us this midday just ahead of the bill signing. Abdul, thanks for being here. My pleasure. All right, so this has been a thing for a long <laughs> time. We can put it that way in the state of Indiana. Why this year is this getting passed through? It finally got done because the two warring factions in this, the liquor stores on the one hand and the grocery mm -hmm. big box stores on the other, decided to sort of, sort of call a truce and stop shooting at each other. Mm -hmm. And because before Sunday sales would come up, but then people would attack on lots of amendments to it. Like, hey, you can have Sunday sales, but it's got to be behind the third counter on the fifth day and the fifth aisle and just lots of hoops. And so yeah. it always get cluttered, like almost like a Christmas tree. So to use an alcohol analogy, they kept it neat. They just said, hey, yes. Sunday sales, noon to eight, just start straight Sunday, up. straight up, mm -hmm. no chaser. Get it done. <laughs> and that's basically how it got done. All right. I like the way of putting that. Do you think that Amazon, maybe them looking at Indianapolis, had any push or any weight on this? I don't think necessarily Amazon had any weight. Actually, I think just the average Hoosier, mm -hmm. you know, they called their lawmaker and said, hey, why can't we have alcohol on Sunday? What is the big deal? Here's a product that's perfectly legal. The other six days of the week, you can go to a bar, go to a restaurant, mm -hmm. and get alcohol on Sunday. Why can't somebody go to the grocery store or liquor store and do the exact same thing? And also the fact that it's, Sunday is also one of the biggest shopping days yeah. of the year, too, where a lot of people do their grocery shopping, et cetera. So it just made good common sense. Okay, do you think this will impact like breweries, wineries, distilleries that are local here? I don't, I don't necessarily think so. I think if you're going to a distillery or a winery or a brewery, you're going not only for the, for, the, for the drinks, but also for the experience and for the atmosphere. You know, somebody like my wife who's going to Target to pick up her bottle of Moscato wine, she's not really going for the atmosphere. She's going to get her bottle of wine so she can deal with me for, okay. the, for the rest of the day. Okay, <laughs> we'll be on cold beer watch for next session, right? Cold beer watch next session. That's going to that's gonna take a while. And then the real, low hang, the real fight is going to be oh, when we write the distribution laws for alcohol. That's because that's where really all the money uh -huh. is. Sunday sales has been kind of low-hanging fruit, but it's low-hanging fruit with a splash that you can now get on Sunday. All right, Abdul, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, 